Hey guys, I have here a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. You can see the screen is broken, the front glass is broken, and also the battery is inflating. The battery is expanding, already pushing against the back cover. I'm going to start with hitting the back cover of this S23 Ultra in order to remove the back glass and see what's inside. I initially heated the back cover of this device for 35 seconds and I started with a suction cup in order to start the removal process of the back glass. I have created a small gap and after that I inserted my guitar pick inside and started detaching the back glass at the bottom of the device. Since the screen of the device is broken you can do a glass only replacement but I do not recommend it because it needs some machines that you need to purchase and doing a DIY with a glass replacement only on a Samsung device, a newer Samsung device is almost impossible. I'm sure you're not going to purchase a $2,000 machines in order to replace only the glass of your Samsung device. So this is why I'm doing a screen replacement this way by replacing the screen and the frame together. Also in order to make this repair cost effective, I'm trying to do everything in order to not break the back cover of this device and reuse it to seal the back of this device. In order to remove the back cover of this S23 Ultra safely, you need to hit the back cover of the device multiple times and take your time while trying to remove the back glass of this device. I will have all the links into the description for you to check if you need one of these items that I have in the video. The removal of the back glass is almost complete, I just need to separate separate the top portion of the back glass with the frame of the device. So just like that I have removed the back cover of the S23 Ultra and I can reuse it later in order to seal the back. As soon as the back cover was open I started to smell something that looks like the battery was cut. The battery inside this S23 Ultra need to be replaced. I turned the device off before I started removing components. Here's the new screen with the frame that I'm going to use. I'm going to remove 17 screws in order to proceed and the only screw that is different is of black color and it is attached to the top left of the device. The first component to remove is the wireless charging pad and wireless charging circuitry. Once that has been removed, the next thing is to remove, disconnect the battery cable out of the motherboard. This is going to prevent any damage to the motherboard or any other component inside this device. Like I said, it smells like the battery was cut and you can see it at the top right of the battery it is cut. So this battery needs to be replaced and I didn't felt like the back cover was ever removed out of this device. I'm not sure how but Samsung put this battery inside. The next step will be disconnecting all the flex cables that are connected to the motherboard and after that I removed all the other components that are also attached to the motherboard. At the bottom of the device the loudspeaker is held by six screws. After removing those six screws I can simply remove the loudspeaker and have access to the charging module and the other ends of the flex cables. All the flex cables have been disconnected and removed out of the frame of the device. I then started removing three screws holding the charging module. Currently everything is out of the way and I am free to remove the motherboard of this S23 Ultra. Here is the motherboard of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This one is in good condition and working condition. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has two 5G antennas and one is at the top right of the device and the other one is at the bottom left of the device. To remove the top left 5G antenna you simply need to pull it strongly and it is going to come out of the frame of the device. For the other 5G antenna you need to remove two screws and pull it and it's gonna come out of the frame of the device. The next step will be to remove the charging module which has the SIM card reader embedded on it. Here are the two screens and you can see one has a red dot and the other one does not. The red dot means that the frame was exposed to water at some point. Even with that the screen still works perfectly. So for the removal process of this battery Samsung added some pull tabs on the Galaxy S23 series. So you simply need to lift the blue pull tab and you can start pulling on it in order to remove the battery of the device. You can hit the front of the device slightly in order to help you pull the battery more easily but you can do it without doing that. You can simply pull the battery with the pull tab with a lot of force and the battery is going to be detached from the frame of the device. You can see the battery is already out of the frame of the device. It wasn't so bad and I didn't use any alcohol or heat to remove the battery of this device. The way I removed the battery of this device also comforted me in saying that Samsung did repair this device or remove 
remove or replace the battery of this device at some point and they did do some damage on the battery and they didn't even bother to replace it with a new battery that looks good and doesn't have any cut. I say Samsung but it can be any authorized Samsung repair shop that did a work on this device previously. As it is this battery need to be replaced. Before the reinstallation of all the component onto the new good screen you need to check both screens in order to make sure that you have transferred all the small components that are on the old screen. So it is time to reinstall all the components that were removed out of the old bad screen. Here's the old battery and the new battery. This is a used battery that was removed out of the device with the new screen. Obviously one is good and the other one is going to the trash. For the reinstallation of the battery I'm going to add some double sided tape on the inside of the frame where the battery has to sit. I added two double sided tape and I removed the protecting film that was covering the double sided tape and after that I decided to install the battery but I remember that it is better to install the motherboard first. By installing the motherboard first you can perfectly position the battery cable in order to land perfectly where it has to connect to the motherboard. This is why I installed the motherboard first before the battery. The motherboard in I can simply place the battery inside and pull the battery cable slightly to make sure that it is in the correct alignment. SIM card tray in and we can connect the battery cable now and test the device. I have reinstalled everything except the front speaker and the bottom speaker. It is time to turn the device on for the first time with the new screen. Everything seems to be working perfectly. The screen is lighting up and it is working normally. After the installation of a new screen, you always need to test the screen for touch response and make sure that everything is working normally. You need to take a few minutes in order to play with the screen, make sure that the touch response is good the brightness goes up to maximum and you can dim it to the lowest brightness possible and also go inside the camera app and check the cameras if they are working normally and after that if everything is good turn the device off continue with the reinstallation of all the missing components that have not been reinstalled yet i have reinstalled everything that was out of this galaxy s23 ultra including all the screws and it is time to work on the back glass like i said i'm going to reuse the back glass that was on this device originally and i'm going to remove all the double sided tape that was on this back glass i have a new back glass with double sided tape already pre-installed I'm going to remove that double sided tape and attach it on the old back cover and after that I will add a small layer of B7000 on top of the double sided tape. Here is the B7000 that I'm going to add on top of the double sided tape and here is the device with the B7000 on top of the double sided tape. For the reinstallation of the back glass you simply need to align the back glass with the frame of the device and start to apply a small pressure on the back glass onto the frame of the device for the back glass to stick. After this step you need to turn the device on again and test the cameras or test the screen to make sure everything is working normally. Test the S Pen to make sure that the screen is responding normally. Next you need to test the wireless charging and at last test charging by wire in both directions. Everything seems to be working normally. The device is almost done. I do not recommend that you put your device inside water. This is how I got the new screen that you see on this device. Click the video on the screen if you are interested in seeing my experiment with this device inside water. The device was under constant pressure for 10-20 minutes and after that you need to test the device again to make sure that everything is good and done. Subscribe and I will see you next time.